Down. And what Dr. John said, I went to his house. I, said, I was on my way to visit my mom in Myrtle Beach, and so I stopped, spent the night in that little town, got up the next morning, went to his house at 9 o'clock in the morning, knocked on his door, and he was prepared for me. He was going to do my slide. It took him two hours. Took the horn apart, the work cleaned it, and then worked on the slide and did his whole treatment on it. And once he got it actually cleaned down to the metal, then he took this stuff and he put it on the stocking down here and slathered it on there thickly and then put this on and then proceeded to just work it in, you know, and take it off. Work it in again. And keep on working and spin it around like that. Keep working it in and keep going. Turn the slide upside down. And who was this that did this? Dr. John. I can't think of his last name. Great, he's passed away now. But he did this. I think he, he, I don't know. He, I know he retired. I don't know if he still passed away. Now. He worked on that thing for hours, though. A couple hours. Yeah, you, you can't you can't have a good slide in ten minutes. Yeah, <laughs> So this one, this one's already, it's a brand new horn, slides out of line, you know. So anyway, uh, you get that, gut that, you get down there, you get it slapped on there good, then you get a clean cloth and wipe it off, down to the middle. The trick is, you want to get your lubricant on the inside of this slide. That's where you want the stuff to be, not on here. So then once you've wiped it off, you go back and put it on, you go through all that again, pull it out, wipe it off again, because you'll see, Anytime you start seeing any places on here where it's a little bit built up, keep wiping it until it's gone. You know, and Howard, I'm going to zoom in here real quick. Point okay. to the stocking. The stocking is this, this section right here. Because this is actually what makes contact with the inner slide. Sure. The, the inner part of the outer slide. You have sure. to say that. But that's, that's actually, because it's slightly in a bigger diameter than this. You can feel it right here if you rub your fingers. This exactly. is a little bit thicker than that. So this is the this is the part that's important. All right. Once you've done that, then you take uh, the other little bottle, the little bottle of lanolin or whatever it is, and you put a bead on it, like right here. And then I just thump the slide like that, and it makes it go all the way around it evenly. And then do the same thing over here, and then put that in there and work it in good. And then you pull it out, wipe it off. Okay. Hit it again, pull it out, wipe it off. Then you hit it with some water. And by the time you get to the point where you're putting water on it, you're going to say, dang, this thing is amazing. That water it's starts literally. beating up yeah, a whole lot, too. Yeah, water starts setting it up, you know, to where everything gets thin enough to play. Yeah. But all the, all the lubricants have to be on the inside of the outer slide, not on the, not on the outside of the inner slide. What would happen if you did that, uh, that process backwards? So say, for instance, you started using water or you started using the uh the little little dropper first and then you put the i don't know other stuff on okay man told me to do it this way i did it yeah i hear that that's it you know that's why i'm saying this i want i want to i want it to go in uh, a forward process so say say that again real quick so you start start with the cream hold that up real quick so we can see it how start with the cream base gotcha all right and then you go to the uh the, the more liquid lanolin base yep all right. And that's what that other bottle's in there for. It's an empty it, bottle, but it's, it's for water, so it's you can just do water. a little bit of spray. Okay. Yep. Now, here's another thing. Go to the Kroger's or any grocery store and buy a gallon for 99 cents of distilled water. Don't ever use anything in there except distilled water. The reason is tap water's got boogies in it, <laughs> you know, and they will, they will multiply and grow on you. You know, so I just don't use it. Use distilled water. It's always cleaner. It'll always, it'll last longer. But once you get that, once you get that done, then the other thing about playing the trombone is the wrist. Because this is, this, you're doing this, right? Ooh, talk about it, please. So, <laughs> so the grip, um, I talk about it like throwing darts. You know, think about where you're, where you're throwing it, you know. And you're playing here, the, you know, it's like cello has like what several positions of the elbow. You know, you're down here, you're in the first position, down here, third position, blah, blah, blah. Well, there are different positions on here, not counting this, the seven basics or the 52 really real positions, not counting the seven basics. There's 
like three positions that you would use, you know. And here in the first position, you have access to first, second, third. You haven't moved your, you haven't moved your elbow particularly. You're working with your wrist, right? So if you have to do this all the time, it slows down the horn and you jerk, and it jerks the mouthpiece, you know. You want it to be smooth. And that's why the slide has to be really smooth and, and well. If you've got a, a funky slide and, and it's got dings in it and, and grit, um, it's hard to play.